should we yeah i'll reconvene quickly that at 6 31 we convened the meeting we just corrected brant's last name spelling in the draft minutes and approved them we will move on our um Topics again tonight consist primarily of updates since we're sort of in a bit of a holding pattern. The first one I have on here is an update on the planning board's community housing proposal. There was a public hearing that we didn't talk about um, yet. And I know there were multiple handout updates and uh, prior to convening, I got a tiny little update on language on the warrant for town meeting, but Let's see what else Frank has. Yeah, I'll keep yeah. catch people up on that. So yep. I circulated. So I, I was expecting that the town meeting booklet would be out by tonight, but it apparently still isn't. So I circulated to the members of this group what the planning board sent forward that will be incorporated into the planning meeting mm -hmm. booklet. And um, you know, there's a a bit that we. So you should all be able to, and I could share screen. Um, sure. Also, as I was coming into this meeting, I was reminded because I just noticed that the warrant had been published and I went through and checked the warrant. You may re recall, as also noted in the minutes we just approved, mm -hmm. that at last meeting we discussed the fact that town council said the community housing bylaw could be approved at town meeting by a simple majority vote rather than the usual two thirds majority vote. This was communicated to the planning board, to the town administrator, you know, in various ways, I think we communicated this, but the current warrant shows for the community housing bylaw that two thirds vote required. So I've sent an inquiry to the town administrator and again, forwarding the guidance that we got from town council about this more or less asking the question since I don't know now that the warrant's been published saying two thirds of majority or two thirds vote. I don't know how at actual town meeting we might deal with it really only requiring a simple majority. And maybe Fred Barron has a comment on that. So um, can I just can I just clarify? Yes. So, so the language that is that is going to be in the warrant says it needs a two third the Is warrant as currently published on the town website reads for today's yeah for all the the zoning okay, related two-thirds vote okay. required but in fact we believe based on town council's guidance that the community the two community housing related bylaws um, on the warrant only require simple majority i believe that there is still time to that you can't correct what's been published, okay. but there is still time to reissue it with that change noted. I think that it's only a seven day notice requirement. Okay. And we're 14 days out still from town okay. meeting okay. or thir 13 days at this point. Great. So I flagged that, but I was also having this conversation before the meeting with Catherine, having read just in I think today's recorder about an issue that the Leiden, that Leiden's planning mm -hmm. board had at their town meeting, which I guess was just reported on. So Leiden went into their town meeting with a, an ADU, an accessory dwelling unit related by law proposal. Um, and they had tried, they were going forward with that as a um, simple majority vote, but then somehow, and it's from the recorder article, it, the details are not entirely clear to me, but they somehow concluded that their, their ADU-related bylaw contained other things that made it, as a whole, ineligible for the simple majority vote. And they were trying to do live fixes there at town meeting, and it apparently got so complicated, they just tabled it, and it didn't you know, come for a vote at town meeting. And it made me worried. Like, again, town council was asked, our town council was asked this question, saw our community housing bylaw draft, provided guidance that said in town council's opinion, simple majority threshold is, is sufficient. Though we also caveated, interestingly, he caveated his... Um, 
his bit of guidance by saying, I note that the determination of simple majority versus two thirds majority is still an evolving area of the law with yeah. ongoing advice and direction from the Executive Office of Housing and Livable Communities and the Attorney General's Office. You know, okay. the, the, the other potential saving grace here is that my guess is that that notation of two thirds versus majority is not binding because it is not anything that is being passed. So it could probably just you know simply be changed as the moderator getting up and saying the the booklet is incorrect. This requires only a simple majority, not two thirds. Yeah. Since it, it, it's, wonder... it's not in the language of any of the warrants. Okay. But now I'm here's my then I have this worry. Like if we say it's simple majority, town moderator just kind of does a look at hands and says a eh, simple majority it's passed and then the ago says eh, there's something not right about this it really needed two-thirds majority i'm wondering if there's a strategy of just counting all the votes so we're covered it, traditionally here the votes get counted if it is even remotely close okay and by remotely close i mean not unanimous Okay. Or not <laughs> one or two people voting against. If okay. there's even the slightest call for a need to vote, you know, to count the votes, then either someone will call for it, the moderator will call for it, or I will call for it. Okay. And is it true that any member can call for it? I feel like yes. once at yes. least that we, I was present for a vote where an, uh, a town meeting member in the audience requested a count yes. too. So a, 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 someone in the audience can request it. Yeah. So it'll if, be okay. I mean, like you said, small town lawyers, right. evolving law, whatever. Right. Yeah. Right. It, it, if it doesn't, if it requires two thirds and not a majority and gets a majority, but not two thirds, that will be an issue that will get kicked back by the attorney general's office. Right. Right. Um, it will, will never even become an issue if it clearly passes over the two thirds mark. Okay. Well, can we feel assured that if it is, Fred, as you sort of suggest, it looks like it's virtually unanimous? Yeah. Will that be appropriately noted so that if we're asked and they said, no, it really required two thirds? then we would have a record that says, well, in fact, it, it did. I, you or I can also approach Nat before the meeting and say, can you be sure to get a count on the vote on this warrant item? Okay. Just that, that'll that resolve anything. Okay. Because I would just hate on a technicality. Like if it passed by two thirds, but we said it only needed simple majority and then we didn't do the right record keeping, yeah then I wouldn't want this to wait a year. I think Nat has a note on this thing to get a, you know, get a hard count on that warrant, no, warrant item. Okay. Yeah, he All will right. just be sure to call for it. Perfect. And I'll, I'll coordinate with Nat in advance about that. So, I mean, in terms of town meeting and the community housing bylaw, the other thing that I was a little well, I guess, so I was a little concerned about with respect to the warrant as <laughs> published. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm choking up a little bit. Within the plan- Don't, don't, don't we all when we're talking about warrant items. I know. I know. <laughs> so there was a previous draft of the planning board report that I've circulated to all of you, where I had noted with, with each of the little short descriptions of the various bylaw proposals, the, the support, whether, you know, who supported this mm -hmm. bylaw. Like I noted in the report, like the housing committee supported the community housing bylaw, et cetera, and so forth. The water commissioner supported the aquifer protection related stuff. And then Judy helpfully said, well, you know, for clarity and shortness, get all of that out of the planning board report because it's already going to appear 
in the warrant articles themselves, which is generally true, but I happen to be looking at the warrant as published and on the website. And I notice that um, like for community housing, it's shown as recommended by the planning board, recommended by the select board, but it doesn't say that it's also recommended by the housing committee. Does that, this matter? That, I think that falls under the same thing as the note about two thirds and majority. It's not binding. If, if it's you, an annoying especially something that can be added, most of the people are not even going to download the warrant articles. They will pick them up at the meeting. Right. So if we can get it corrected for the printing that goes for the meeting, assuming they haven't gone to print yet, uh, that can be corrected then. And again, it's not a binding element and it could just be announced. It was omitted that this was also recommended by the housing committee. Okay. So maybe Catherine, you'll take the action as chair of housing to well, I'm or, leaving on vacation a week from uh, today, and I okay. am like a little yes. overwhelmed with okay. my. Okay, uh, Brent, if you're going to talk to Nat, that's another Nat note. Okay. Yeah, maybe just add the sentence. Yeah, just just add that. But and yeah, check it with uh, Trisha or Lynn, whoever you're. Okay. Corresponding with, but again, that's a non-bind. It's not part of the warrant article and thus can be changed. Perfect, perfect. Um, so that's, I think, all I really have to say yep. about. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, so who from this committee, so Catherine, you're not gonna be at town meeting. Fred, no. obviously you will. I, I, I will be, I'll be up front. Right. <laughs> I will be there in the audience. Okay. Um, so what's, I think the, the strategy, well, so feedback, particularly from you, Fred, welcome. The, we and the planning board seem to have learned the lesson from past town meetings that it's wise to always say something before each of the bylaw related articles rather yep. than sit quietly and wait for questions now, especially these bylaws that are up they they should be explained what they do and why they are being proposed right and even though you could say just read the effing booklet no not good enough <laughs> right right um people so, also like to hear from someone they right. they trust okay a little explanation so I don't know who that might be, but I think what I'll do is I, I'm expecting to do as chair of the planning board at town meeting is, you know, get up and just basically more or less cover the same points that are covered in the warrant article booklet. Um, yeah, uh, that would be great. Keep it as concise as you can, because keeping in mind that this is the at the end of a long or towards the end. It's not even. Yeah. Oh, well, wait till the whole thing about Gaza comes up. That's so, yeah, Gaza and 16 year olds voting. Yes, both. Yeah, yeah. So oh, really? So I haven't that. looked at the warrant. I wasn't aware we were joining the ranks of Amherst with our. Apparently we are. Okay. But, well, not yet. No, they're being proposed. We haven't joined anyone's ranks yet. Right. That's right. Sorry. And I'm not meaning to be, it's, I get it. Like I get everyone wanting to take action about a lot of these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've just been in the presence too many times of legal counsel, like sort of swatting towns down. Like, mm -hmm. it's nice that you want to say this and you don't have any national or international voice. So, shh, right. or whatever they say, it's something. So, yeah, like so I'll be making so, but it would be great. I mean, I don't know, Fred, if you can take your, you know, speak on behalf of it if necessary in your if, dual if it appears. Role. If it appears that it's going to be necessary, as in if people start getting up with serious questions and opposing it, right. I can back you up or Judy, whoever you know does the presentation on the various articles. Right, right. I mean, um, Ju and Judy, I... Judy has done this many times in the past. Yeah. Um, I just yeah. want to say that I'm 
okay with making a prepared speech, but I do not want to answer questions spontaneously. I'm really bad at that. No, you don't have to. I mean, I you think don't have to. Even if you were just prepared to, like, almost in an orchestrated way that I'll, you know, I'll work with Nat, I'll get called first, I'll make my remarks about the housing committee related bylaws. Mm -hmm. And if you were just there to just basically provide the, the housing committee's endorsement verbally, and, yeah, you know, that might just be enough, you know. Yeah, yeah and I also support. plan to um, ask all my friends to come and vote for it. Okay, that's great. Yep, and I suspect there's a pretty good amount of people in town that are interested in that, based on the effort going on, even just with center school in general. I know there are also a group of people who are likely to stand up in opposition, but they might not. They might be tired and crabby and feel like the way this is worded is not uh, adversarial enough to them. It's so mellow and like, it feels like not, we'll see. I mean- I, I think you're more likely opposition is gonna be coming from people who don't really understand it and think that somehow it's going to limit their rights to do something mm -hmm. with the property. Yeah. yeah. Which, it, which it doesn't, but that's- right. That's your no, more you're, likely But you're right. I, as you say that, I can think about other right. planning and zoning and, and, changes and that, that, that get the argument. The argument wouldn't even be to defeat it. It would just be, oh, it's too confusing. We don't understand it. Let's table it. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. tabling an article is not debatable. So if someone moves to table, all you can do is vote on that and hope you don't get it tabled. Okay. Huh. So... But it, the, a motion to table has to be seconded. Right. Which is not that, a that's big true. Question. But it, it, if the discussion starts out and people start going into, it, oh, it's so confusing. Yeah. You're going to get a motion and a second from yeah. people who just say, let's get, you know, let's move on. It's yeah. getting old. Or yeah, yeah that's or true. What, or right. whatever. Right. Judy can can do a good job at answering questions. Right. Yeah, Judy, I mean, Judy, as, as Judy has done this, and you know, you've got a couple of different articles, and maybe if you present one and Judy presents another, yeah, like that. that's a good idea, Fred. And she's fairly unflappable about the answer and questions. Although I have, I, seen I would her say get totally flustered. unflappable. Not totally. You think <laughs> she doesn't I, get flustered very much? Yeah, where I I would get. The one good thing about me being there is like I get really antsy about sometimes people who are generally just opposed to affordable housing and right. I would have a hard time self-correcting what I want to say right. in yeah. under pressure. Yeah, but right. I, again, like, Judy, Judy has done this so many times presenting yeah. the planning board. Yeah. Right. Housing. Right. And people really have laid in to some things over time. Like oh, yeah. I don't remember Absolutely. any in the last few years but she's she's pretty good brant so i think that the idea of sharing the two of you yeah it's great and you know for for what it's worth I'm, i don't think that when there's another committee they'll read the whole someone will read the entire motion and include this motion has been supported by the select board the finance committee and the housing so like that will be spoken out loud. Okay. Yes. So, well, in, you know, in the case of the planning board things, they may not read the whole. The oh, they may board. not. Okay. Because right. they're they're long and yeah tedious. And right. They, you okay. Read the Good first call. paragraph, and you know, I wave moving. You know, reading the rest. Do the of summary. The, right. The rest of the article. Okay. Fair. You know, it, Fair it's point. like there, there are some of the budget things that they don't you know they don't read through every number on every table. Right, of course. In passing the budget. Yeah, right. Thank you. I'm getting rusty. Well, I think um, I think that's great. Yeah. I think. I mean, I'm fairly hopeful. I. But we don't. We don't know. I, anyway, I'm, I'm fair. I'm f quite hopeful because I haven't heard of any organized opposition, which makes me think that if there's opposition that arises on the floor, it will be because of confusion rather than uh, opposition on the merits. 
-hmm. it, it'll be not understanding what the merits are. Right. Yep. Or not, not even wanting to understand what the merits are. Right. Right. Okay. Fair. Well, okay. I hope it goes well. My thoughts will be with you, but I will be in sunny Northern California. Okay. Um, I don't, I'm trying to think what day it's before. I guess it doesn't matter. The I think I'll be the, the meetings on the 18th. Yeah, Sequoia. So yeah, I'll be happily hiking and um, camping and being stinky with my family. Anyway, <laughs> I'm very excited. So uh, the next thing is a small town housing group. Brant yes. went now like two full months ago to a meeting. And before I forget, I'll say that recently I got an email that the meeting for June has been canceled, but that there was another meeting scheduled that I was going to bring up, which is the very meeting that Brandt actually forwarded um, today, which is this sort of myth busting uh, presentation that the FERCOG is putting on about community housing, um, or they're maybe calling it even affordable housing still, but that actually uh, might be a good thing to attend for people getting ready to start yeah communicating about it i think um many moons ago megan rhodes from FERCOG said that they were sort of working on something like this so it, it sounds like they may have put a good amount of effort mm -hmm. anyway um but was there anything still to report back from that not much i, I mean yeah. at the at the April 4th meeting that was mostly presentations from three different land trusts, Kestrel Land Trust, Mount Grace Land Trust, and Franklin Land Trust. Yeah. And they talked about how these land trusts have been working with different communities on affordable housing projects. So Kestrel was deeply involved in this very interesting affordable housing project in East Hampton. Uh, Mount Grace was, they didn't really, really the Kestrel Land Trust East Hampton one really was going somewhere. There's real housing being built. Basically Mount Grace and Franklin were really just talking about, you know, things that they do and try to do, but they didn't really have any specific affordable housing project, projects to report on. I didn't see there were any real, um, you might say, actionable or lessons learned for us, yep, you know, okay. except for the fact that there are these land trusts mm -hmm. and they do work on, and you know, they, they can get involved in, like the thing with these land trusts is these were projects, like the one in East Hampton was this wonderful mixture of affordable housing and protection of open space. And there, so the land trust had a stake in this whole thing. And so it, it was a really nice story, but- um, in, in general, I associate the land trust more with preserving open space than affordable housing. Yeah, yeah, but, but They can play a nice supporting role if we right. ever, this is generally for larger communities, but if yeah. ever, ever someone wanted to preserve a large tract of farmland, say, but also get enough money yeah. in maybe getting out of farming to say they wanted to sell something, there could be a way to say, it's so tricky because there's part of me that really doesn't ever want to go down the path on our more pristine yeah. farmland, but there could be a path in some like maybe lesser perfect open space mm -hmm. for farming that or what or if near the woods what if there's already a building on the property like what if it's a farm with buildings and th that could be repurposed right absolutely mm -hmm. and it wouldn't yeah, be if someone plan. wants to protect like a huge section of it and say this acre you know when i used to talk about going on field trips which i think i was getting ready for us to try right before covid started um in williamsburg when i worked at hilltown cdc we built um an 11 single home starter home project so it was homes that we sold to first time home buyers mm -hmm. we built the home we built the homes on a about 2 acre is that right maybe 3 acres of a 26 acre parcel and preserved the rest of it 
it's hiking trails. It links into the Williamsburg snowmobile trails. We did not have a trust. I don't think we had a trust really involved in it. Um, but it, that's the kind of thing that would be fantastic, right? Like it, it's kind of a win-win for the whole community when you're able to preserve some land. And then that home buyer, instead of, you know, sort of just getting out, although theirs was, I think they got paid some money, even though it wasn't, it wasn't farmland, but they did get some money from the state in between, you know, if they'd sold the parcel and done a big commercial development versus preserving the land. Um, yeah, no, it'd be, it'd be nice if that happened, you know, if someone wants to, pres you know, sell a farm and preserve the land, they get an APR. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, that's right. And that's why in our town, it's a little different. Like there right. might be a couple of places where something like that might be feasible right. in like art, but I don't even know about that, honestly. Right. I, 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 I just, you know, thinking that if, you know, if a farm owner yeah wants to preserve farming it there's an easy path to do that yeah. without you know selling you know bringing yeah. in land trust or any right other. that's right the agriculture that path for agriculture right. for farming is right. pretty established and easy and so yeah. maybe and, in other and parts get, of get some, some money so it, yeah. yeah that's right yeah but if i may interject uh, an inquiry came to the first to the ZBA and then made its way over to planning and then the in-person inquiring, you know, just stopped and stopped further communication. So I don't know where this stands, but they, a, a property owner of, I still don't know what parcel we're talking about. It was claimed to be like 50 plus acres on river road. Hmm. And I think the river road between the South Deerfield town line and say Christian. So yeah. limited area, but this this individual was inquiring about like what would be involved in if they wanted to take this parcel of land and turn it into subdivision, you know, sell it off. And they seem to really not understand the subdivision regulations, mm -hmm. and they thought it would all be done as an A and R. And I was like, well, no, no, no. There's like and but the the main point is that this was a property owner thinking of not necessarily turning what would obviously be farmland down that stretch of river road but um turn something into like more housing so the community housing bylaw could give us some opportunity right. to you know and then that's, that's the, where that would come into play yeah, and then a land trust, if we were doing this as partly protected open space, might have an interest. Who knows? Anyway, there was not that much else. They did mention at this um, April 4 meeting about Leiden's plans to put this ADU bylaw, which I said got tabled. Ended up, yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I think at our time, I mean, that's the biggest fear is confusion will lead to tabling yeah and ta tabling can happen very quickly you know just if people are getting sick of talking about something yeah or even want ready to go home like i, right, I feel right. like well, that's... it might not have anything to do with the bylaw in question right right it may have nothing after... to do with itself it just yeah just as Which i said sick, sick of talking about it whether they don't want to hear the subject or as i said getting cold or buggy or whatever yeah. My so, fingers are crossed. So maybe, Brent, in your little introduction, you can say how very important it is for us to yeah. pass this today. Yeah. Right. It's not as complicated as you might think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Make it as simple as you can. Right. Yeah. So, so people yeah, that message to... of simplicity and succinct, like, right. yeah. brief is, is hard, but sometimes the best path. Um. Okay. So Fred, do you do you have any info? I'm gonna guess the answer is no, but is there anything else happening with the center school project? I know people no, are all... the, the center school well, uh Jenny Morrison's visioning committee is supposed to get back to us on October first. Yeah. There are a couple of grant applications out. Um I have talked right. very briefly with 
Donna about, you know, maybe doing a uh, CPA funds for the roof, um, which would be a big allocation of CPA funds, but we'll see if it would fly. Uh, but I think that would help in selling the building as if, if the roof were put put in shape before someone did it. And it would also tend to help not have the building, you know, someone want to tear the building down if it doesn't have that issue. Right. So not, nothing new aside from uh, a visioning committee and okay. they're, they're working on grants. Yep. Got it. The, the other thing is, I don't, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the uh, our incoming administrator has a an urban planning training. Yeah, I saw on the paper. That's great. And so he may well have some ideas about things that can be done and ways to go about doing this. Right, right. When you say That's... they're working on grants, do you mean the visioning committee is working yeah, on Yeah, the visioning committee through Sylvie got the town. Uh or ha have applied for a couple of grants. Did they apply for that underused? That I think that's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Underutilized. Underused property, municipal building. The up, the up right. grant. Yeah. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. there's another sort of comparable one that I think is a private group that does the same sort of thing. Yeah. I mean, they might get lucky. I've been working in Northampton and one of the projects I've been putting some time mm -hmm. into has, you know, an 840,000 award for that up mm -hmm. funds for um, the old nursing home, but that's for a huge thing. And this is right. a small thing. I have no idea how they're. Yeah. I think one of, one of the, the, the private grants they're applying for is one that is sort of targeted at exactly this kind of project for small towns. Oh, that's good. That... Yeah. Cause the state will tend to look at us and look at the right. size and, maybe right. shrug but yeah, yeah exactly you know it, it's uh you know sort of like an orphan drug kind of program of you know things yeah. that just simply are not big enough to get funded yeah the way they that's do. awesome well that's really good but uh, again i i don't, don't know, know all the right. details of it and don't know what the how likely it is to get or how yep. much would be or really anything right. else about it sure on a related note <laughs> The mayo property oh, has the planning study started with the state road parcel. It's uh, so hard. Yeah, we, we, we had a meeting yeah. a couple of months ago with the consultants, and they came back with a huge plan for the highway department. And we said, go back to the drawing board, and we haven't heard again. And again, so much is on hold because of the way. Yeah, of course, it's 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 that's absolutely. Right. There's there's only so much you can do with in the absence, even with people. And, and, and so even so much you want to do, you don't want to. Right. Sure. Things it, it's entirely his, possible that life. someone with a real planning background, and I'm not knocking Brian because I think he was right. fantastic, but this is an opportunity to use someone with yeah, planning. It's, is, it's just a different yeah. skill set than Brian. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it, it will take him a long time to get up to the knowledge level of the town and its needs that Brian had over his seven years. Oh, yeah. But he does bring this background. Yep. No, I think it's great. Super. All right. So the next and last item in the update section is about an announcement I have to make and um, feel sad about it, but I am resigning from all of my town commitments. Okay. Effective okay. June 30th. So... I, there, I cannot, I have too many family and I just, I'm spread too thin and all the meetings after five, even really sometimes after four, the effort involved sometimes takes longer than making myself available. This meeting specifically is some more often than not now that we changed it to the later time can be manageable, but I, I need a break. The trying to come back after COVID didn't really feel like I'd had a break yeah. because even though I was out for a while, I was working full time and teaching an elementary school child full time and like, and, 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 mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I need some time. And, you know, I already spoke to Fred about this, but I, I intend to be available as a professional since I've got the right 
you know, professional mm-hmm. background and I've worked with the packaging of the financing and I'm working with an agency, affordable housing agency. And, you know, I have a lot of really good connections. Should we get the meat of something to go on? But this phase like that we've been in, while it's frustrating, this being on hold thing, it's so common mm-hmm. and it can last, it can last a long time. Yep. But I'm not moving, so I'll be here. And Fred knows he can reach out. And I'll try to spend some time with the new um, administrator once they are settled in with the time-sensitive yep. things, of which I'm sure they're increasing daily. <laughs> it's, I'm. He's going to be, is his first day really basically town meeting? Is it's, that... the day be- it's the day before. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be interesting quite an introduction to him um yeah and you know as i've said to other people i've talked to you know my kids are both in high school one of them is going to be visiting colleges this summer and maybe once the other one is past that stage i'll feel like i have the time again but you know well i have them here and i'm their primary ride and other thing for (laughs) For a lot, I just, I need to be doing family stuff, so. Uh, well, let, let me thank you for doing all that you have done for many years with this, including the last several as chair. I would like to urge you to consider remaining just as a member of the committee, mm-hmm. not as chair. If you yeah. consider doing that and, you know, contribute to the meetings, but not prepare agendas and not... Right. Not yeah. really be responsible like it, for anything. Yeah. Um, that, consider that, please. Yeah. I will. Yeah. I you're right, Fred. And I will do that because that is, you know, and I think yeah. I, I tried this at a different point, right? And when Richard stood up and right. when I had babies, he did great maintaining right. all that. And it just isn't working for me. I have only so many administrative cells and they mm-hmm. are but if, if we can take the administrative yeah. role away. Yeah. yeah. Right. No, you're right. That and and you know, at one point I had considered reaching out to Sylvie and mm-hmm. saying, like, how much of this would you be willing to do if you knew that I was at either stay or go and that uh, how much could you take off of the burden? And I don't know if that's but I think that I'd want to wait and have a new administrator weigh in on that stuff too, because yeah, that's the yeah. whole, you know, once someone does that for one committee, it's like a can of worms. Um, and unfortunately, and this is not, Sylvie has been fabulous, but if Hannah was any example, Sylvie's not going to yeah. be there all that long. Right. That's right. That, no, I know. We, that we we get good people and they move up to bigger and, you know, good young people and they move up to bigger and better yeah. paying and more responsibility right. jobs. And it's nothing right. against her, but no. I, I wouldn't want to be reliant on her to you know, essentially do the administration of this committee because she could be gone in three months, six months, or never. We just don't know. Right. It's hard to know. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Um, Can I say, um, well, at first I want to thank you, Catherine. It's been wonderful working with you. And I'm really sorry. It's such a job. But I also totally understand. (laughs) Yeah. Um, But then uh, who is the chair? Who will be the chair? We'll figure that out. And I, I would propose that we not meet again until a September meeting. Just nothing over the summer unless there's need to. And maybe we can each spend the summer trying to feel out, you know, can we get additional members and can we yeah. find someone who wants to take on being chair? Right. And, and when I, you know, we all belong to other boards and like so many um, so few people do so many jobs. It's so hard. Yeah. 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 I, I'm aware of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder too. Um, and we, I think we had done this a long time ago. Fred, correct me if you remember. But because of where this committee is, I've often thought maybe switching to a quarterly meeting schedule. Um, until there is some sort of more forward movement. Um, I, I would agree. And and honestly, given what we've been doing, you know, if we didn't have something like the planning board proposal, yeah. 
the the meetings could essentially be pro forma opening we have a meeting approve minutes yeah adjourned right yep uh, so so and that was something honestly i actually was planning on proposing that not necessarily in the meeting that we found out or like it, it had already been in my mind for a while when we got the surprise community housing bylaw um but I, because I also was thinking like Brant and I would do this sort of side thing where we'd plan this event that might not have required regular, too many regular meetings. It might have just been he and I like. So, yeah, there's lots of different ways. And I will. And I appreciate you saying that, Fred. And, and I, I, but I think by town bylaw, we have to have a meeting at least quarterly because I think we're supposed to submit minutes at least quarterly. OK, that's fair. And on a related note. I'll remind you, we had this meeting long ago with Brian, where we reminded ourselves that we also need the trust to meet quarterly, or someone might right. start to argue we haven't been fulfilling our obligations, and we wouldn't want that to happen. Um, I, I think we called this a joint meeting of trust of the trust. Yes, tonight so can, is a joint meeting. Right. I did that on purpose. So, we can so these like, minutes, yeah. minutes from this meeting will get published as yep. trust minutes. But That's I think, right. yeah, I think quarterly sounds good unless there is. So it becomes a reason to have an, um, yep uh, more frequent meetings or yep you know like if Jenny's committee comes in on October first we could have a meeting to discuss that you know if if that report yeah if, right if there's a report that we should be discussing right absolutely and I don't know where I stand on this I but maybe some of those committee members might be interested i don't i don't know i'm not even sure what's the right i don't want to yeah, knock let, 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 let's see how active the committee is and whether yeah right meanwhile i would propose uh wednesday september 4th for our next meeting That's right after Labor Day. Right after Labor Day. Yeah, and it's actually already on my calendar. So same 6.30? Yep. Okay. We don't know who's going to be doing the agenda in the minutes, but we'll see if we can figure something out. All right. That sounds good. Um, any other regular housing committee business? I literally think our housing trust meeting will take 60 seconds. Uh but I'll entertain a motion to adjourn if there's not the housing committee in. Um, so moved, I moved. All adjourn. right. Second. Yeah. Everyone in favor? Aye. Aye. Awesome. All right. We'll call the housing trust meeting to order at 718. Really the only thing I wanted to report on is the balance. The last balance I have received is still a little dated. I think that the report was dated at the beginning of May. Um, it's $126,000, wait, $126,269.82. Um, by year end, it'll be, you know, closer to 127 with the interest. And that's great. And, and there's, also, there's also that could be available CPA housing bucket money that for good yes. reasons CPC doesn't want to just give to the trust but is sort of ho holding in reserve right yeah. at one point we'd entertain planning on submitting a project request in December but the last time we had this talk and maybe maybe there's a way to do a feeler conversation yeah. before then about who might be inclined to just support getting it, even if we don't, like if there's enough more information, say about DeMaio yeah. and we, I'm still not sure what is gonna happen with the, that the giant bond bill is getting signed either today or tomorrow in theory for $6 billion it's up to for housing. If some of that eventually trickles down to be available sources that could work for a parcel as small as DeMaio, then you know, it could be true that by December we say we're going to need money for pre-development. And I can easily speak to how much pre-development money, like you go through yeah. site costs and preliminary engineering. Like it's so, a project like this maybe wouldn't go through the hundred and whatever thousand dollars we have in the trust, but 
it would be good to have it on hand to get moving with oh, contracts. Yeah. Well, that, that we that, that's why a couple of years ago, the select board and finance committee set up a uh, building stabilization fund. Not that yeah. that was going to build the highway building. It was never going to be enough. But to fund things like the consultant and some preliminary costs without going into each year's budget. Right. It. right. So it, it would be that kind of thing. Yep. Yeah, so I I mean I think that can still sort of be on the table whether or not an application is due. We'll just have to see if there's enough sort of momentum on any of that stuff and then if there's like those of us to pull an application together. I I will say about the Demayo property with regard to the highway garage. From what I've been learning about it, I it's unlikely that that will be the site. Yeah. The highway garage. Mm -hmm. That it's pro it's likely not big enough. It's not close to the resources that they need. So I wouldn't rule it out a hundred percent, but it's unlikely yeah. that that will be. Yeah. yeah. I kind of thought that from the beginning, but I yeah. still feel like from a protocol perspective, it doesn't. Yeah. And again, this... I'm, you know, I'll wait to hear yeah. what the consultant has to say, but having seen the survey of the property and requirements for the building and all the rest, it's hard to see it fitting and, working on that property could yep. happen but right hard to see. yeah yeah we'll okay. see all right can i move to adjourn the housing trust meeting yes three minutes not one minute okay. Seven twenty-one. all right yeah everyone in favor aye yeah okay aye okay. so right. when, when was the start and end of this meeting <laughs> Seven eighteen. i think we 718 to 721. World's longest meeting. Yep. Okay. Awesome. All okay. right. Um, thanks everyone for coming. All right. It was Thank really you. nice to see you all. Nice to see, see you, you all. As well. See you okay. in Canada town meeting. Yeah. So enjoy Have your a vacation. good trip to California. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, and Brant, good luck with all the planning yeah. stuff. And Fred, to, yeah, yes, all the all the stuff. Okay. All right. All right. Have a good night, okay. all. Yep. Good night, everyone. Good night.